You're not going to believe what I heard today when I was in Walmart doing my shopping this morning. I could not believe what came out of their mouth in the meat department. Unbelievable, folks. You got to start preparing. Let's talk about it. Before we go in and we talk about what I heard today when I was at Walmart, we need to go over a few facts first to see why we're in this situation. All right, so the best data I could find was as of 2020, the United States had about 518.3 million birds, chickens. Um, just so everybody does know, from the time the chicken lays the egg, it takes 21 days to hatch and you get a little chicky, right? I mean, okay. There's 62 million chickens worldwide. 99% of all our chicken comes from within the United States and less than 1% comes from Canada or Chile. Why Chile, I don't know, but Canada I could see, but hey, who knows? All right, prices. Eggs are up 44%, folks, from this time last year. 44% and they're gonna go up even more, they're saying. They're warning people now. And there's shortages in the stores. Chicken prices are up 32% from this same time last year. When you go to the stores, you've noticed either there are chicken and egg shortages, there's not a lot on the shelves, or you notice that, well, they're costing you a lot of money now. So we need to start figuring out ways how you can make sure that you can put some of this stuff away in something like a freezer or however you want to store them. Because you can freeze eggs and you can freeze the chicken. And this way here, if you can buy it now while it's still at a reasonable price, this way here, hopefully it can get you through until the prices start to come back down on the chicken products as far as chicken and eggs. You know, hopefully this is a short term thing. Maybe it's not. This bird flu, they don't know what it's gonna do. And according to a lot of the comments and stuff that I get on this channel, we really probably don't even know if this is quote 100% true and if they're just being told to kill off these uh, birds and stuff because of faulty tests. We don't know. You don't know what to believe anymore, right? But the only thing that you can believe is there's not a lot of chicken in the stores. The prices are going up. There's not a lot of eggs in the stores and the prices are going up. That you can believe because you see it with your own eyes when you go to the store. And they're forecasting that their prices are gonna go up even more within the next two weeks. So let's go inside and let's talk about what I overheard the store manager telling the two meat managers at Walmart early this morning, because I shop early. You won't believe this, folks. Let's go inside. All right, so when I was in Walmart today and I was doing all my shopping and everything else, and we we're doing a little bit of stocking up on things that we use all the time. And I happened to go down, I was finishing up, I always do like the meat and the frozen last. Go down through there and I get over there and there's these two meat guys out there and they're kind of, they got three boxes each on this big cart and they're stocking the shelves. Now, there's not a lot to put now. So I was looking at the hamburger at the other end because they were down towards the chicken and that area. And this manager came walking up. Now, and she said to these people, she said, you need to go back there and get more chicken and bring it out here and stock this shelf now. She said, before we get busy. And he says, I can't. And she said, why not? And he says, we don't have any more. We're not going to get any more until Monday night. This is Friday morning. The hamburger section was awful. There was hardly anything. Well, unless you want the 93%, then there's plenty of that. The top dollar stuff, they got plenty of that. But the rest of it, I got the last few packs of the 8515 because that's what we like to use. And... Uh, there was very little of anything else. I asked him if he had any more 85-15 because they only had the one-pound packs. 
you can't get the family pack anymore or any of that and the guy told me he said no nope. he says what i have is what i have right there he says that's it it's friday morning you're coming into a weekend so one would think is this is how they are um you know controlling what people are buying well think about that for a second folks and put your opinion in the comments below would make sense wouldn't it you know come the weekend most people do all their grocery shopping right so now you've got my particular walmart all right they're not getting any more deliveries of their meat until monday night weekend is over so what are they pushing there's hardly any steaks there's hardly any hamburger there was a little bit of pork more pork than anything else so maybe they're trying to get everybody to buy pork i don't know but what do you all think about that i think that there's something really fishy going on with this situation i could be wrong but then again i could be right you know i mean there's a lot that is going on and <laughs> i hate to tell you but you know um if you're not stocking up and be getting prepared and you haven't been getting prepared you're in for a rude awakening real soon because prices are going through the roof i started keeping all my receipts and all that stuff because i want to keep track on how much things are and something else i want to point out to you too is just because there's a tag there because it happened to me today with the butter i bought the two pack of butter it was 588 once i got home and looked at my receipt it wasn't 588 it was 614. so they're not changing all their prices but they're raising their prices so here's another question for you are they raising the prices faster than they can change it on the shelves what do you people think I don't know comment below folks i want to know what people are seeing i want to know what you think about this situation and what you're seeing in your some of your stores because a lot of people are saying well i ain't seeing nothing i don't believe this is real i'm good to go and then other people most all the other people are all saying hey you know what i'm seeing the same thing i'm seeing this i'm seeing that i'm seeing this so one tends to believe that there's a lot of shit going on out there, folks, and uh, um, I'd like to know about it. So put it in the comments below what you are seeing in if, your area. And if you would, just put what state you're in. All right. We don't have to get we don't have to know what city you live in. Just what state? What state do you live in and what are you seeing? And this way here, we can all see what is going on across this country because I don't think we're getting told the truth, folks, and I don't think that we'll ever get told the truth either. So let's just see what takes place and how this all goes. So thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I thank you for all that you've been doing for this channel. I appreciate all your support, liking the videos, sharing the videos with your friends and family, because that's the one way we can get the word out and try to save as many people as we can from the heartache that is coming. So until next time, folks, I'll catch you all on the flip side.